Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gallagher Shot YouTube channel and podcast. I am your host today, Chris, joined by Decker and Mr. Mark Walker. Boys, um, just a quick 10-minute video and recording on this one. But we've had the first fallout at Newcastle United in a long time. Fallout, I'm, I'm using with, with these things. <clears throat> inverted fingers. These things. Um, Hope they're more effective than inverted wingers. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> um, Decker... Are you surprised at this one? You know what I'm saying? Are you surprised? Um, a little bit. A, a li um, yeah, a little bit. Because um, <clears throat> I think you could probably sit and ask most people and probably think it would be Maxi that would be the person you fall out with, yeah. which is just bullshit. But anyway, um, yeah, no. Um, for all, he hasn't played much um, at all. If you think of when the takeover happened and how it came in, Fraser was actually quite a big part of that sort of, you know, staying up that season. Mm. And I think I was maybe... I was critical of Fraser in one of our when we sat here and chatted about him, saying that he maybe hadn't been a success. But I think, to be fair, if you if you if you maybe how long was was it? Do you think that that period? Well, it was it was the it? majority of the second half of uh, last season. He played a lot out on the the right the wing, right. didn't he? He was a huge, um, huge 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 part. And I know a lot was made of the fallout at Bournemouth and the, the sort of the past history. But I kind of thought that had been put to bed, and I thought oh, he's you know he's going to play a part here. But yeah, so for for the people that know, don't. No, you probably mm. will know this, but the fallout at Bournemouth was due to Ryan Fraser not extending his contract for X amount of weeks during the COVID because obviously the season was extended because of COVID, and he was one of the players that refused to do that. Yeah, and he just sat there. And he didn't, yeah, got, he, well, he just, didn't do anything. He didn't do he didn't anything. Have a club. Yeah, didn't have um, a club at that. Point. And you can understand how. I mean, we know how well enough he would not uh, be pleased with that. Mm. You know, so um, yeah, I just think it was um, also quite surprising to hear Eddie how actually come out physically because he's very close knit like that he doesn't say much like that he keeps his cards close to his yeah. chest whereas he's come out and just boof said it you know? it seems like he doesn't like things going public but he was the one he was asked the question by Keith Downey it was yeah. Martin he, he said basically the, the future of Ryan Fraser and he said things in football can change but at this moment in time he doesn't have a future at this club because yeah he only wants people around the team that that are committed committed yeah I think that comes back to the January transfer window and there was a lot of talk about you know Ryan, Ryan Fraser not getting a lot of minutes potentially him being unhappy with that. Um, Rumours coming out that he'd been told he could look for a new club, find a new club. And obviously, you know, we got to the end of the transfer window, probably expecting to maybe go out on loan or something like that. I think there was a couple of clubs that were interested in him. But obviously, with him being a free agent and joining us, he's, he's obviously on, on decent money. Um, and I think it's just, for me, it seems to have stemmed from, from that of... Um, not getting the the move or feeling that he's been kind of pushed out in January and that just there seems to have been almost a I don't know if it's just a lack of effort in training or so that, that's something what, like that. What my next question was going to be was we're classing this as a four out just because of the comments that Eddie Howe made saying that he's training with the under twenty ones he's been forced to train away from the, the the first team lads. When we're saying fallout, do you think it is just lack of effort and just not asked? Because he isn't getting the game time. There's reasons he's not getting game time. One, he's injured a hell of a lot. Two, is the players that have pulled a finger out and performing really well. Like like some Murphy, when he's had his chance, he's doing well. Ryan Fraser's not getting that chance because, just like we've mentioned, he's, he's fell down the pecking order. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And we all know from the, the first day of Eddie Howe coming in at this club how how intense his training sessions are. And I think that if if he's not getting out of Ryan Fraser what he expects in training, that probably then reflects in why he's not getting chose to go in and play within the team. He's had a couple of appearances this season, like being on the bench and stuff like that. So he's been involved, but we've never got to a point where he's, you know, been and looking for a, a run of form. Obviously, Almiron's form has probably played a, a big part in that. But then equally, when we had Maxi out for quite a, a while, there was that that space out on the left was open for grabs and. As you've, you've already mentioned, Murphy came in and, and did very, very well um, during that period. And he just seems to have been frozen out um, and hasn't taken it too well. I, I, find, I find it interesting, you know, because I think <clears throat> if you go back to when I, the time I was on about there with Fraser playing. He was very complimentary. You know, when he was saying in interviews, he was saying, basically, he was slagging off Bruce, wasn't he? He was slagging off Bruce. And I the think Bruce, every single one of them has had some point, uh, yeah. And like, he was always saying, like, oh, th since, since the gaff has come in, it's like, it's a new place and the training sessions are mint. And he was really, really positive yeah. about everything, wasn't he? And so yeah. was how about Fraser as yeah. well. That yeah. like when you saw them kind of in club videos and in photos and stuff like that, he was always kind of there and thereabouts. And 
like Wilson had mentioned about the fact that obviously while they were at Bournemouth, that like Fraser was always kind of he's like almost caught. I think he was calling him like a lapdog or something like that. He was like the the teacher's pet because he was always like around him. So that's why they found it quite unusual for him to fall out. But I think because that that trust element has has been broken in the past with that relationship they had at Bournemouth, that. He's just not taking it again, and he's he's came to this decision. He was always going to be one of the the, the first casualties, though, Digger. Just to use that term, and it fits quite well with with Ryan Fraser. But oh, after the takeover, he was always going to be one of the first ones out the door. Really. Um, <clears throat> especially with now with the arrival of Gordon as well. He's even further. Oh yeah, now. yeah, yeah. So you've got Almiron, Maxi, Murphy, Gordon. His fifth winger now. Yeah, well, yeah. I, 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 Do you not think that's surprising though that he is that low down the the pecking order? I, I would have thought he would have been ahead of Murphy. Like, yeah, if I'm being really yeah. honest. Um, now you see that again though. It's it's again it's about attitude, isn't it? In terms of how you adapt, Mark's word, you adapt to your role within a system or within a squad. And clearly, Fraser may may think that he deserves to play more and be higher regarded. But like Sir Murphy, for example, I would imagine has completely accepted his role. You know, yeah. I'm third or fourth choice. Yeah, I'll come on in 10 minutes and do a job. But in training, I'll give 100%. My attitude will be, I'll be on time. I'll do everything right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, you know, all the rest of it. Keep um, my powder dry. Uh, exactly. And maybe Fraser's going, well, that's actually not good enough for me. Um, and and he's, he's set his lip up a little bit. And maybe Hulk's going, well, no, no, I'm not having you with a face tripping you around my lads type of thing, you know? Um, again, we're only just guessing, like, but it's, you can only imagine that's what it must be. Because I don't think it, it's got to be more than just lack of effort and training. It has to be... In, um, what's the word? Uh, it feels like more of a bad apple among the good It has to be because why would you? Why would you? You might not be training great, right? And you would have a word with them about that and blah 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 blah. But I think he must generally be doing something mm. because I to th- move him away from the lads completely, I feel as like yeah. I mean that that is a big step. I, th- I think you, I don't think he can be classed as a bad apple, particularly when you see all of the photos, particularly him and Dan Byrne. Like they're always like together, oh, the, yeah. the little and large, carrying on, laughing, and all of that kind of thing. A lot of the videos that he did, kind of behind the scenes and stuff like that, I he think, always seemed to have a big character. But I think just... a lot of that, though, Marcus, came before the transfer window. We've seen that beforehand. Yeah. I know it was only uh, from, what, two months ago, well, a month and a half. And that is mad, though, you know, when you think about Marcus just said, they remember the, on his back and all that yeah. stuff, and it was a joke going on, wasn't it? And I think it's Christ. been since the arrival of Gordon, and he's realized I've dropped even further now. We Let's be honest. We're seeing, oh, am I shocked that he's fifth choice now? fourth or fifth he was going to fall wasn't it it's only the fact that Murphy's done well and, and when, when given the chance to do so so well and Almiron as shocked. well because obviously like as I say at the end of last season he almost cemented himself on that right hand side didn't he going to be ahead of Fraser though wasn't he it wasn't for large parts of uh, he, he, last yeah, right, season. Uh, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't. And obviously, Almiron's played himself in uh, in that certain period where he's, he's undroppable. Yeah. Of course, he is. You know, I get that. Um, and you can rely on those lads, though, because they're not injured. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's that's to be fair. Fraser's injury record hasn't helped himself in that in that regard. Um, but I think I, I think Margaret made a good point there actually about about that sort of uh, partnership he had with Burn and. He's doing lots of videos on social media and stuff for, for the club and everything. Mm. Look great, look rosy. He seemed to be in a good place. Um, and it's really quick, it's quickly changed, but mm. Eddie's not messing around, like that's for sure. And I think it's personally, I think it's a very good message, you know. I think you've got to set out your stall. Your expectation is no one's bigger than the club. And if you are messing around or whatever it is, this is, you know, this it's, is where you go. It's showing a different side. Eddie Howe as well. Mm. He comes across as this, this this nice guy when he when he's doing his press conferences, but obviously he's he's not going to take any shit from behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, did it, did it with Kieran Clark as well, didn't he? Was it before he he left, not involved in the team, sent him to train with with uh, the I young lads as well. Before obviously he went out, so he he's got a bit of form for it. Um, he has to be ruthless. He has to be ruthless, though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. You think you think of the job that he's got, he's the, opp- the opportunity he has at this club. You know, like he he was unemployed before we got him. Do you know what I mean? Now that's no disrespect to him. I'm not cr- slagging him for that, sorry, but like. He didn't have, it was, yeah, yeah, he yeah. didn't. He didn't have a job though. He's been given this opportunity, this job, arguably a massive club in the country with a huge backing. And he, if I was him, I'd be going. I can't have any um, sentimental value for people because yeah. if you're not doing your job, it's I'm the person that's going to suffer in the long run. You know, it'll be me that's out of a job. So you've yeah. got to be ruthless, like. And just then, you might be looking back over history at Bournemouth and thinking you've screwed it over once. <laughs> you're not going to do it again, uh, was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think that's maybe part of the bit thing that's in the the back of his mind how. You know, things turned out there and he came back and he things seemed to be quite rosy and getting on all, all well. And then, you know, as I say, something's happened in January with him being told he's he's able to be 
leave or him pushing because we don't know what the actual yeah. story there is whether it's him will, pushing or I don't think we'll find the club time. but because i think it was it, as it normally is with these things hope that uh broke the the story initially of, of him kind of mm. being able to go and look for a club and also being able being sent to train with those so again where where are these stories coming from you know is them all back there's another question in itself. So it's definitely long stuff. <laughs> it's, it, it's a shame, though. I think a little bit. It's a shame. Sorry, last thing I'll say is um, that well, squad's not the greatest or the biggest anyway. Yeah. And I would love to have a, a a motivated, fit Fraser as an option. Yeah. I would because I honestly do think there is a player there. I, I was very excited when we signed him. He's very direct, isn't he? He's very direct. He works tirelessly. He did work tirelessly. I remember in that yeah. period of time yeah. where we stayed up, he was a big part of that. I can't deny that. And it's a shame that we can't look at have that player coming off the bench, and we've lost that now. So. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll find out in the Amazon documentary. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. That would be good. That would yeah. be good. Um, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for this one. Uh, if you do like stuff like this, become a member. You will get access to, to more features like this one as well. Watch what you're doing. See you later. Ta-ra. So long, wee man. <laughs>